Hello everybody, my name is Jade and welcome to this video about being on hormones for 10 months. In this video I want to talk about three things. First, a general update. How am I doing? How are the hormones affecting me? What's it been going from month 9 to month 10? Then there is a little subsection that I want to talk about euphoria moments that I experienced during this month and I want to finish it off by talking about my weight and what has happened with that this last month. In general, I am feeling pretty good. I am in a good place and I am having fun with life. I am enjoying myself. I don't have a lot of stress. I am just in a good spot right now. Hormone-wise, it's been quite a relaxed month. Nothing unexpected, nothing going on that I didn't already experience. So there hasn't been a lot of new things going on. It's been mostly things continuing that were already happening. One of those things, for example, is that I noticed that my breasts are still growing. They have been sore, a bit sensitive, and in a different way than before. It feels like there is breast tissue growing inside the breast and not just around the nipple area, which is a good development. That's something that's supposed to happen, but that's been happening for the past two months already. So it's just a continuation. It's just, it's starting to notice a bit more. In more positive news, I have my second COVID shot. So at time of recording, I still need to wait eight more days and then I'll be considered fully vaccinated and I can finally go places again. I've been sick a few days and I even had to miss a day of work, which I regret because I don't like missing days at work. But it felt like a result of overexertion. Me doing and wanting to do too much and not having the means to actually do it or to organize it in a way that I could. This is a pattern that exists with me and it's a pre-existing pattern. I don't like it's happening, but I'm getting more aware of it. I am working towards ways to deal with that. Talking about overexertion, I have been working on a new YouTube project. It is a way for me to try and get up to a video per week. It's going to be less of this and less of my history content and more content that is related to things that are happening right now and things that I just in generally find fun to see, to watch, to do. So stay tuned for that for next Friday. The next bit that I want to talk about are what I would like to call euphoria moments. Those moments where you look at yourself and you go like, oh, I'm actually really happy with what I'm seeing. And for me specifically, that's gender euphoria moments. One of those gender euphoria moments was when I was done exercising and I had to change out of my exercise clothing into my normal regular clothing. And I looked in the mirror when I did a stretch. And what I saw was this typical hourglass shape starting to form. Like I saw an indentation around my middle area and I was like, yes, thank you. For me, that was a sign that the hormones are doing their thing. I am losing muscle mass there and there is slowly getting that feminine hourglass shape in there, which is something that I'm really happy about. And it's not nowhere near the hourglass shape that you see on the covers of magazines because of my weight, but I saw it. It was subtle, it was there, and that was one of the things that really made me happy. One of the other things that we did was visit friends that we hadn't seen in a good six months due to the COVID restrictions. One of the things those friends said to me the moment they saw me was, your voice, it changed so much and it sounds so feminine. And that really made me very happy because that actually showed that the voice work that I've been putting in, that that is actually paying off. and you're probably wondering like why don't you realize that well i am the person doing the voice work i hear myself every day so i don't hear the change i need to hear it from people like you like my friends who say wow i can really notice it and so when that happened multiple times in different friend groups i was over the moon there was also a moment at work where i was talking with a customer and in the normal situation a customer uses no gendered uh, language or they use masculine gendered language for me. It happens very rarely that they decide to use female language for me. Then there was a moment where I was talking to this customer and this customer said, I'll be right back. I need to talk this over with my husband. And I could hear their conversation hang happening in the background. And she said to her husband, the lady on the phone, and for a moment I had to hold in my squeal because I was so happy about that. That woman heard my voice and the click that she made was, that's a woman. And that is the whole reason why I'm doing that voice training. That's what I want. It's part of my presentation. It's part of how I am perceived. 
it makes it so much easier because that leads to me not having to correct people about my gender, which is amazing, which is great, which works so well and gives me so much more energy. I also want to talk a little bit about my weight because the last month has been a period of stagnation. I am stuck at the weight that I was last time. This is something that is very demotivating for me, but also that's part of a pattern that I have. It's demotivating because I actually put in the effort the first two weeks. I exercised, I watched my food, I logged all my food, but I couldn't seem to lose any weight, which sucks, which is very demotivating and it's something that I don't like to see. It's not fun to step on that scale and see all that hard work hasn't led to a decrease in weight. What normally happens after that is that I give up, that I slowly fall back into coping mechanisms. And all my coping mechanisms have to do with food and with eating. So at some point I noticed, oh, hold on, I am using these coping mechanisms again. And it takes a while for me to build down on those coping mechanisms because they are based on very high sugary foods, high caffeine foods. So your body gets used to it and it needs to go through a detox period to get rid of it, to make it easier to deal with. So that's what I'm going through now. And this is the first day that I'm actually saying, hey, today so far is turning out to be a good day again. And that is all the things that I wanted to talk about for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this little update of mine. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps me if people subscribe and Watch out for next Friday when I'm dropping my new video. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at expectjade. Feel free to interact with me. I enjoy it a lot. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.